Hi, I'm Ari Rowland, and today I want to talk about the minor 7 flat 5 chord, which is actually a pretty complex chord and very misunderstood, and it's something that we should all get our head around and play the right notes and the right scale for it. A minor 7 flat 5 chord is actually a minor 6 chord with the 6 in the bass. Okay? So for G minor 7 flat 5, if G is actually the sixth of a certain chord, we know that G is the sixth of B flat, right? So G minor 7 flat 5 is actually B flat minor 6 with the 6 in the bass. Now that's very important to know. When we play a scale for a G minor 7 flat 5 chord, we're going to play an E flat 7 scale. The reason is every dominant chord has an important minor. It's found on the 5. So for E flat 7, the important minor is B flat minor. Now we know that G minor 7 flat 5 is actually a B flat minor chord with the 6 in the bass. So the scale we use is E flat 7. So if we're in the key of F minor and we see G minor 7 flat 5 to C7, when we have that G minor 7 flat 5, Besides the notes in the G minor 7 flat 5, G, B flat, D flat, and F, the scale we're going to use is E flat 7. That's very important. So on the minor 7 flat 5 chords, always first be able to identify what they really are. For example, G minor 7 flat 5 is actually B flat minor 6 with the 6 in the bass. And then you get the dominant 7 scale that takes B flat minor as the important minor. F minor 7 flat 5 is actually A flat minor 6 with the 6 in the bass. What dominant 7 scale takes A flat minor as the important minor? D flat 7. E flat minor 7 flat 5. What chord is that really? G flat minor 6 with the 6 in the bass. And G flat minor is the important minor of what dominant 7 scale? C flat 7 or B7 if we want to make it easy. Okay, so when you're playing on the minor 7 flat 5 chords, besides playing the notes in the chord, if you're going to play other scale notes, make sure that they're on the right scale, which is on the, the relevant dominant 7 chord. Right now, I'm going to play G minor 7 flat 5 for a bar to C7 for a bar to F minor. You can hear that besides the notes in the G minor 7 flat 5, I'm playing the notes in the E flat 7 scale. That's very important because if you play a A natural, it's not really in the key, right? G minor 7 flat 5 is in the key of F minor, it's not G minor 7. So the A natural is not really in the key. So it's very important to keep in the key. And by playing E flat 7 notes, then you're staying in the key of F minor because E flat 7 is the dominant with A flat major, which is the relative major of F minor. It sounds complicated, but it's not really, and it will be very natural for your ear. So just to recap very quickly, minor 7 flat 5 chords, they're minor 6 chords with the 6 in the bass, and they take the dominant 7 scale, for which that minor chord is the important minor. The important minor is found on the 5th. E flat 7 takes B flat minor. B flat minor 6 with the 6 in the bass is G minor 7 flat 5. Thanks for listening.